I'm Tammy T. Walker here, life coach, therapist, social worker. I create videos to inspire others. What makes me an expert? Well, I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor, and I feel like surviving cancer has helped me to help others. That's what I'm here for. Subscribe and like, and let's go. Today's video is five ways that you can become a persistent person. What's so exceptional about being persistent? This type of person, they stand out in the crowd, they never give up, and at the end of the day, they are going to win. So step number one, to be that persistent person, you must not ever take a no. If someone tells you no and you're on the phone with them, you can say, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Call right back. I mean, I do that all the time. Call right back. And eventually, someone will say, Miss Walker, blah, 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 and I'll get my yes. Sometimes I'm noticing people are not as competent as they need to be or should be. I don't even want to say they're not competent. They're kind of lazy or just want to get you off the phone. So sometimes you have to do a little bit more nudging and you have to do your own work. Don't be afraid to push on through even when they say no. And another thing about being persistent, you cannot tell a persistent person where to go because where are they going? Nowhere because they stay in. They in, they in it to win it. So you're not going to give them a no and you're not going to tell them to go because they're not going to take neither. They're going to stay until they get that yes and they're going to stay until they push their way through. That's the first thing about being a persistent person. Do not take a no and do not go. And number two, a persistent person, they're never afraid of hard work, ever. You cannot scare them. I remember getting my master's degree and my sister was like, I don't know how you stay up to two in the morning and do those papers. It's called debt. <laughs> um, to get that degree was 40 some thousand dollars. I'm in my 40s. I don't have another 20 years to do classes over and over. I'm not saying I'm going to die, but I don't want to be 65, 70 working on a master's degree. I knew if I was going to get that degree, I had to put those blinders on and have laser focus. I also knew sometimes it meant you're going to be up to two, three in the morning to bang out that paper. And that's what it took. But it actually felt good doing those papers. It felt good dedicating my time to social work, something that's near and dear to my heart. You see, when you're doing something that's your calling or a purpose, you don't think about the pain. You just want to get to the end goal. My end goal was getting that degree, which I got in May 2018. I say these videos not to brag, but to help you because a winner, it lies in you. Sometimes you look at people on TV, Instagram, YouTube, and you say, wow, they're great. The truth is you are too. That's you. I mean, all of us have some of the same things. We want the same things. We want to be loved. We want to be successful. We want to be respected. We're not that different. It's unfortunate that racism, racism exists because people think we're all so damn different. We are a lot more alike than a lot of us uh, let on. Don't believe all that stuff. You're just as great as the next person. You just got to tap into it. Just got to tap into it. It's like a diamond. You just have to be refined. Okay, I'm getting off track. Number three, a persistent person. Another thing about a persistent person, they are never afraid to outdo their opponent. And when I say this, I always think about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, he said, it wasn't that I was so great. Huh? Yeah, right, Michael. The greatest to me. <laughs> and um, he said the reason why he was successful was hooped, practice, hooped. When other people stuck up the finger and tiptoed out, this is a Baptist church thing when you gotta you have to use the washroom, you hold up your finger and tiptoe out. Michael stayed in, on the court, hooping. If I hoop, I'm gonna be a billionaire. I'm gonna be the best. And he said it was just repetition. Think about it. B.B. King scaled eight hours a day, became one of the greatest blues guitarists ever. Practice, practice. Practice, outwork your opponent. When I'm looking for a job, I go insane. I talk to some people, oh, I put in two applications. Oh, I did 15. What? You're crazy. I want a job. When you want it, you outwork your opponent. 
no one is successful or ever going to get anywhere by doing mediocrity. You have to outwork your opponent and you have to do it over and over. Repetition, it does get uh, perfection. Practice does truly make perfect, truly. Another thing about a persistent person, number four, they're not afraid to lose. They're not afraid of rejection because they know in that L, there's a win. They know if they lose, it's a lesson and it's a blessing. Sometimes when you lose, it just makes you greater later. Think about it. If you're in a singing competition, I'm a singer, and I crack or hit a bad note and I lose, the next time you see me, my notes are going to be perfection because I'll be so embarrassed. I'm easily embarrassed by stuff like that. Or I'll be so disappointed in myself that it won't happen again. Even if I don't win the next time, my stuff going to be tight. It's going to be my music, my notes are going to be perfected. So losing can elevate you to the top. It's a lesson in a loss. It's a lesson in rejection. I'll never forget when I would go on job interviews and I was so down because I was tired. I had been laid off. I'm going on interview after interview. I'm getting rejection letters. I'm like, forget this crap. So I show up at the interview depressed. And my cover letter said I was energetic and outgoing. And the vice president was like, your cover letter states you're energetic and outgoing, but I can't help but notice you're subdued. I was so embarrassed, you all. Guess what? The next, of course, I didn't get the job, but the next interview, drunk that Starbucks latte with all that, uh, what is it, caffeine in it and shot of espresso. I was on a cloud. I was so happy I got the job, the next job. So don't be afraid of rejection and the loss. Turn it around and make it for your good. And last but not least, number five, the persistent person, I shouldn't do that, that go back 10. Five, the persistent person will always pay attention. I love to watch people, but I study people. And, and sometimes people get caught up in, I don't like him, I don't like her. No, I'm gonna study a former president, Barack Obama, who came from a single mother. How did he make it to be a president? You gotta study his life. It's not about liking him or agreeing. That's a bad man. You gotta give credit where credit due. I'm gonna study a Jim Carrey that believed in himself enough to write out a check of millions of dollars, put it in his dad's coffin when his dad passed away. And he believed in himself enough to be this million some dollar actor. I'm gonna believe in a Jennifer Lopez from the Bronx who is a triple threat now, who told people, hey, I'm going to be famous and look at her now. So it's not about liking these people. I don't even know them, but I will study your story, Gandhi. I will study your story, Dr. Martin Luther King. I will study these people because it's something great to be said about these people. They had the it factor, the persistent factor that you have, that I have. We all have. We just got to tap into it and don't give up and don't give in. I remember being diagnosed with breast cancer and I'm scared, you all, scared, scared, scared. But I was so scared that it saved my life. I told myself, if you get too scared, you're gonna cause it to spread. You gotta stay positive. So I began to visualize. I visualized myself running a race and breaking the ribbon of that race over and over and over till I got that report of, you're in remission. So I want you all to do that today. Do something that will get you to your end goal. Stay persistent. Please don't be like some people. They have it all laid out. The business plan. They have um, people lined up to be on their board. I mean, they have it. It, it is a great idea, a great business. One thing happened. They just throw the whole thing in the garden. Just give up. You can't do that. You have to be persistent. You got to be in it to win it. Can't be blown by every wind. I live in Chicago. If it's the winter time, when you're downtown Chicago, you can get blown away. It feels like it. That's how powerful our winds are. But you don't want to be like that in life. You can't be blown by every wind. You Notice know, palm trees, they blow and they go all the way down, but they never break. Be a palm tree. Stand tall. I hope my five tips help you today. Don't be beating yourself up or feeling dismayed or discouraged be persistent it's going to pay off i tell you stuff that i did that i know i would never get on this video and talk about stuff i never went through but i have to um 
you know, have a somber moment because we lost someone great today. But we lost someone that uh, talked about, you talked about being persistent. This guy nailed it. John Singleton. Wow. I I was kind of blase blah today before he passed. And I just hate when we lose these great people. Um, John Singleton, in case you didn't know him, African American African American director, black <laughs> director, I just say black sometimes, it's just easier, that um created Boys in the Hood. I love Boys in the Hood. A movie that resonates with me, a lady from Chicago. And just, you know, I didn't have to struggle to get out the hood, but I was I lived in the hood sometimes and I could relate to that type of movie or uh, baby boy, you know, those type of characters that you know of, or that, it's just, um, he he brought it to the big, the big screen, and he captured it, like, perfectly, um, to have that vision as a 20-some year old, it's just amazing that he went for it, you know, persistent, and I want to leave you with a tip, you know, we lost John due to, like, high blood pressure, heart disease, Come on, you all, we gotta, you know, I'm not trying to talk about him or nothing. It's not even appropriate, but his family even said this. Take care of yourself. If you have a um, heart illness or high blood pressure, go to the doctor. Don't be stubborn saying, well, we all gonna die from something. These are things, um, high blood pressure and heart disease, it can be fixed with ex exercise, a change of your diet. Your health is your wealth. I don't care if you make $5 million. You cannot spend it if you're in the ground. Take care of yourself. People are living to be 100. These are people that get it. Take care of your health. Take a leave of absence. Say no. Block these people. Stay away from the drama. Watch the alcohol intake. Watch the bad diets. Exercise. These are things that could save your life. Had 20, 30, 40 years. You have kids. You have people that love you. And... Your health is your wealth. So be persistent with that. Tammy C. Walker, subscribe, like. Thank you so much for anybody subscribing to my channel, watching me, sharing. It means so much. I hope I'm helping someone. And if you do want life coaching, twalker at dreamsarereality.com. That's my email. $30 for 30 minutes. I'll be glad to life coach you via phone or Skype. Thank you. Bye. Take care of yourself. Be persistent with your health. Bye-bye.